Okay, so today we're going to actually do something a bit different. I'm going to play a par three, a par four, par five, show you my poor golf, but show you how I kind of think around a few holes, try and share with you a few things and situations that come up. So hopefully you'll get a lot of it in order to help you improve your score straight on the golf course directly. Keep watching to see all three holes. This is how golfers make mistake. The plaque says 172. Using the yardage device, it's actually playing 155. So it's vastly different. Also, it's downwind, so it's probably playing near enough 150 yards. So depending how much the breeze is, depending how much you take off. But so many golfers make that mistake. Look at what the yardage is on the scorecard or on the plaque and then grab a club and play to that, regardless of what it's actually playing in terms of net. So using a, a measuring device, this one has slope. I know it's 155 yards playing, minus the wind, and the temperature today is pretty good. And also the runout's pretty good. So let's play it at 150. I'm going to hit a nice easy 8 iron. Let's get it done. Struck it great. Just grabbed the front edge of the green. So the plan was, the strategy was basically, I wanted to be just right of the flag. That's where I was aiming. I hit the ball slightly left of where I was aiming, and it's finished fractionally short of the flag. The flag is just on the green. The plan was to try and leave myself under the hole to the right. That had the biggest range for error. Obviously, if I had hit it further right, it'd be the bunker. I'd have to hit a long way left to go in the left-hand trap. So that's how I planned the hole. I teed up in a location that helped me aim there, and then just went through my process and tried to commit to the shot as best I could. And the execution was only a few percent out, but it was also an error as we all do, but I'd be quite happy with this as an error. I'm not too far away from the hole indeed. So the first thing I do is walk to the hole and I look at the hole back to the ball. Then I go to the side of the hole and look if it's uphill or downhill. This is uphill, so it's a left or right breaking putt. This helps me landscape the distance to get me an idea of how far, how hard and uphill and downhill and left or right and all that. It gives me all that information in one go. Then I walk back to the ball I'm off the green here I can't obviously mark it or move it or line it up I have a lovely look from here get down nice and low sometimes I'll use my feet just to clarify whether more weight is on the right foot or left foot slightly more on the right foot this time so it's slightly left to right if I was going to aim point it then I'd use my fingers I would say this is around about a two so that gives me a point to aim at just left of the hole and then from here I'm really just going to try and get a good weight and good lines in that range for me where I'd have to concentrate on both so practice swings would go in whilst looking at the hole for a couple just to get an idea of that pace. Because I'm on the fringe, I'm going to have to hit a little bit firmer than I would do on the green. Great line, just a little bit short in pace. So I would then just finish that one out. And a par three. So happy with the par three for my level of golf. Again, I haven't played for quite a number of months, but you know, I had a plan. The plan wasn't executed perfectly, but it wasn't far off, so I still managed to make a par three. Okay, so 259 yards to carry the corner just right at the dead tree. So generally speaking, around the dead tree would be where I'd want to go, and that would be about 250 to 245 yards carry. So driver, if you hit it a long way here, you can actually run through the fairway and end up being in the rough. But if you hit it further right, obviously the driver plays more into the case of that would be the club to use. My plan is to hit a three wood and go over the dead tree and leave myself a short iron to the green. That for me is the best plan for my golf. For you guys, it might well be a long iron or a hybrid or a driver. It doesn't really matter. But we're playing to a zone, a target, a playing zone. What's he playing with the wind? The wind's off the left, slightly helping. So again, three wood for me, trying to run it out to about 250, 260 yards, carry it that 240 yards or so to get over the dead tree. Uh, that's all I'm after. T aims me slightly right. I want to go right, but I'm going to go right half of the T because I don't want to go quite as far right as where the T is aiming with a three dog. If it was a driver, I would do. Perhaps we need to get comfortable. Let's go ahead and give it a whack.
Don't want that one back. So absolutely where I want to be off the tee. Could have been a bit further up the hole, so the driver might have worked better than that. But I'm in the fairway. On the line I chose, see what yardage I've got in the green. And 138 yards in the green, flag rather. This green is very narrow between the left hand side. I'm going to go flag or right the flag, just right the flag to be my line. Tell my brain what I wanted to do. Pick a spot within three inches in front of the ball, three to five inches in front of the ball. Really focus hard and fast at that as I set up to the ball. Then get comfortable. Then commit to the shot. Push it a wee bit, found the green. Not as close to the flag as I'd like but I'm certainly not perfect. What I would say, guys, is the tall player's average, 8% error with a long shot. So I've got 140 yards there, rough numbers, 10%, 14 yards from the flag. If you times that by three, we're close enough to 40 feet away from the flag. That would be kind of close to what we should aim for if we're a kind of very good to elite golfer. Certainly don't be disappointed by that. Let's get to the green and see if we can make a longish putt for a birdie. Okay, so not a perfect second shot, but again, I take it. In my eye play, it's fine. I'm not a tall pro. I'm not expecting to be a tall pro, but I'm probably 30 foot away from the flag here or so, maybe a bit more, 35 feet. I've got a difficult putt because of the shape of this green. Um, so again, process be the same as I had in the last hole. I'm going to walk to the hole, landscape it, and then walk along the putt. But obviously from here, the green sort of goes a little bit away from me, so this will be more left to right at the end. There's a big slope here, right to left in the middle. So it's a double breaker. You've got to factor in where the ball's going. It's slower, so that'll take more, more of the effect of the slope. But really from this range, the whole percentage is really, well, most tall pros are taking more than two putts, 2.0 putts from 33 feet. So we're just trying to try and get this close. Two putt, make a four, I'm happy with that. Move on to the next hole. So go through my process. I'm gonna stand behind the hole, make some strokes. There's a slight bit of wind into me as well, which will make it go a little bit slower. So I'm going to aim about a foot to the right of the hole. Try and hopefully get enough speed so it's going along nicely before it hits that slope. Pretty happy with that. I slightly underread it, but I'm still pretty happy with that as a putt. Again, pace was the most important thing for me there rather than the line. How I work it is short putts, say from here, line's all that's important. Medium putts, traffic light system, I call them yellow range, line and pace. Long putts, it's all about the pace. I'd certainly take a par here at the moment. Second hole of the day. I haven't played golf for about seven months. So par fives, they're my favorite holes for sure. Generally a bit of risk and reward, you can go for it in two. Hopefully come away with a birdie for an elite player. Again, whatever your level of golf is, it's that kind of net birdie, gross birdie, whatever is, the strategy has to match that. This length of hole, I can get there in two with a good drive, so I'm planning to get there in two. So I have to make sure my strategy matches that. So I'm gonna try and hit my tee shot down the left half of the fairway. That's the shortest route to the green. and also means I can't run out down the right side of the fairway with the driver. So the plan is a good solid drive, again a slightly helping wind, tee it high, watch it fly, right side of the tee, the tee aims us down the right hand side of the hole, so if I just set up the tee, I would be pointing there, which is not where I want to go, so right side of the tee, and then hit it, hugging the left edge of the fairway, and let the wind, the wind is slightly this way, so slightly off the left and down, let the wind just knock it back, use the wind, if I try to draw it into that wind, it's going to reduce the length the ball will go, so use the wind if I want the distance, which I do. Let's have a go. Peach.
Perfect. Can't end any better than that. So for me, perfect driver. I've hit 300 yards off the tee. I've left myself 174 for the hole. Really chuffed with that. I'm in perfect location. You know, I'm in the middle of the fairway. You have to take it down the left-hand side to get in the middle of the fairway when you hit it about 280. So absolutely chuffed with the tee shot. New wood, feels great in the golf course. Really pleased with it. So strategy, point, first part done right. Key thing on the golf course for me is you also focus on the process, not the score or the outcome. So you plan the hold and you really focus on the first part, first part of the job. What's available to you now? What can I do with this particular shot, this particular ball? And you really focus on doing that bit first and work on the second bit. I'd switch off in between shots. Okay, middle of the green. Tired left as I wanted to, but left half of the green, happy with that. Found the green over the water, par five in two. Let's get two putts done. Okay, mission accomplished. I've hit the green in two, safe. I'm left of the flag, a bit further away from the flag than I would like, and I've left myself a horrible putt. The green keepers really had a day when they put the flag there, but it's a challenge, that's what we want. Process is all we're gonna do. The key is now, again with this putt, just get it close. I'm not looking to get it in. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Two putts, make a birdie, and finish these holes one under par. I'll be thrilled with that. Absolutely thrilled. Board is going to be a lot faster than that, so I've left myself a real tricky one for a birdie. Let's see if I can finish the job off and get the process done. All about the line, this one. Oh, use the whole hole. That's all that counts. You have to get a birdie, one under par, haven't played for a while, a bit rusty for sure, but hit the shots in the areas which weren't going to cost me too much if I was out. So a bit more percentage golf, you might say, but definitely had a process and committed to each shot. That's the key. Enjoy your golf, guys, and play well, lower your scores.